This video will show you how to use ChemDraw to make a frost mucilin diagram. So if you're in ChemDraw, you can draw cyclopropanes very easily. You can generate that or turn that into a cyclopropenium ion, which is now expected to be aromatic. What we use the frost mucilin diagram to do is show how this is aromatic as compared, or this is more stabilized as compared to the allyl cation. It's important to note that both have the same number of carbon atoms and the same number of pi electrons. Let's start by creating a circle with dotted lines so that we can um, start to put our polygon inside the circle as described in the frost muslin paper. You'll note that I use the, the little gradations the, the, or the grid pattern on ChemDraw in order to help me orient the circle. Once we have the circle, we can put our polygon, in this case a triangle, inside the circle. I'll resize it so that it fits inside the circle where all three edges are touching the sides of the circle. You note that the vertice, or there's one vertice facing directly down. It's important to always have one touching the very bottom of the circle. The beauty of this graphical representation is that every place where a vertex hits the circle, there's, uh, that corresponds to an energy level of a molecular orbital. The midpoint line on the circle uh, shows you where um, orbitals are stabilizing versus destabilizing. Orbitals above the line are in antibonding orbitals and are destabilizing and orbitals below the line are stabilizing. So if they're populated by electrons, they will be stabilizing the system. The radius of this circle is defined as being 2 beta, where beta is a measure of resonance stabilization. In the cyclopropenium ion, we have two electrons in the system, and they will both populate this lowest uh, molecular orbital. So if we now calculate the amount of stabilization, we have two electrons, each experiencing minus two beta, and so for a total of minus four beta. Okay, now let's look at how to do the same type of uh, argument for a linear system. So for the owl cation, again, I'll draw a circle and set it up such that the circle is centered on the hash marks uh, that are provided by ChemDraw.
The paper states that for a linear system, the way to figure out how big a polygon to put in there is to take the number of uh, carbon atoms, or the number of atoms in your linear pi system, multiply by 2 and add 2. So in this case, 3 carbon atoms times 2 plus 2 equals 8. So we want to put an octagon in the ring. Again, it's important to put the octagon in the ring such that the vertices, so that there's one um, corn edge on the bottom of the ring. You also want to make the polygon so it's symmetrically vertical. As you see, I just oriented it. Again, we resize it so that it now fits inside the circle. After you've drawn your polygon, you now remove the top, the bottom, and one of the sides of the polygon, and that remaining partial side uh, represents the um, energy orbitals. Again, we put an energy, or, uh, energy level uh, orbital at every location where the sides of the poly where the polygon hits the circle. And again, the midpoint of the circle represents the line of stabilization where, where electrons populating orbitals above the line are destabilizing, they're in antibonding orbitals, and electrons below the line are in bonding orbitals, so they are stabilizing the system. As with the cyclic example, the radius is again 2 beta. You can see that the lowest energy level is not fully at 2 beta, but is about at 1.4. So if you count the little ticks on the, uh, that are provided by ChemDraw, you can estimate it to be around 1.4 beta. If you actually do the math, you'll find that it's negative 1.414. But for our purposes, 1.4 is plenty accurate enough. Again, we fill the, elect uh, the orbital with two electrons because there are two pi electrons in this owl cation. In order to calculate the amount of resonance stabilization, we now take this minus 1.4 beta and multiply it by 2 because there are two electrons in that orbital. Now we can compare the cyclopropenium ion compared to the allyl cation. 
cyclopenium had four point, uh, minus four beta stabilization versus the, the owl cation, which had minus 2.8 beta stabilization. This means that the cyclic is 1.2 beta more stable than the acyclic. This corresponds to the amount of aromatic stabilization that the cyclopropenium ion has over the linear owl cation. Now if you want to make your diagrams look a little better, you can label the energy levels of um, all of your molecular orbitals. You can also remove the circles that you used as a template, as well as the polygon that you used to help you determine uh, where the energy levels would be. It's nice to keep that zero beta line in there just as a reference. I hope you found this to be useful. Now please go ahead and try with more complex systems. Thankfully, ChemDraw allows you to make simple cyclic polygons up to around 20 sides.